Hi guys, welcome to this next YouTube video. Today we're gonna to be talking about elbow positions and how that affects your face rotation within your putting stroke. I hope you enjoy the video. Cool, so let's crack straight on. So in terms of elbow positions and how that affects face rotation, there's sort of two terms that I want you to become familiar with. The first is internal rotation and the second is external rotation, okay? Most putters on tour, they'll have a good amount of external rotation, okay? That's your friend. External rotation is when your palms are turned outwards like this and your elbow and the outside of your elbow and forearm is also turned outwards, so it's facing you. So this is external, this move here, when everything turns clockwise, okay? External there. And what, what that allows, external rotation allows our elbows to sit pretty more tucked in, tucked in sort of our rib cage area, okay, obliques, lower um, side of our abs, right there, okay, they're, they're way more tucked in. And what this allows, now our elbows are tucked in, and you'll see this position with a lot of guys on tour, very sort of tidy and not in the way, is what this allows is this allows for the connection from your arms to your body. So everything is working as one because your elbows are kind of locked in. So then all you've really got to do is rock the shoulders. And you can see my torso, midsection, arms, hands, wrists all working together. Okay, you can see how sort of tidy that is. Now I want you to sort of check whether you have internal or external rotation, okay? Because if you have too much internal rotation, this means your hands are going to turn anti-clockwise. And you can see what that does to my elbows. They turn sort of inwards like that, or my forearms turn inwards, okay? And this is internal rotation, okay? And how that affects the stroke is when you stand like this and you have too much internal rotation like that, your elbows flare out and you've almost got sort of a chicken wing going on, okay? So you can see, you don't really see a lot of putters, a lot of good players putt, putt like this, okay? With their elbows flared out, because now what this is causing is quite a big disconnection of the arms and the midsection and the, just the main larger muscles of the body. And this is poor because there's now a lot of room for error. You can see when I have it, when I have external rotation, I'm tucked in, I'm working as one. There's no room for error really with my arms. When I have internal rotation, there's a lot of room for error. Okay? There's a lot of room for wavering. That's going to affect my path and then that's going to affect my face rotation. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to jump in to another screen using a putted mat and I'm going to explain how internal and external rotation affects your face rotation, okay? This is something that I want you guys to take note of because if you can spot whether you have too much internal rotation or too much external rotation, then you can perfect it and see how, see how that relates to your, to your face rotation during your putting stroke. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. Right, so we're back now with a different view of a putting mat, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how internal and external rotation affects the face rotation. So let's jump straight into internal rotation, okay? So this is when my elbows are basically furred out, forearms are turned inwards, okay? This is internal rotation when the elbows work sort of anti-clockwise. And what this does, because obviously my elbows are now flared out, there's sort of less room for face rotation because of it. I mean, it can increase the shaft angle, but it definitely reduces the face rotation just because it just prevents you from working on an arc. Unless you're gonna use your legs and your head to rotate your body, it's never gonna work. And we don't definitely don't wanna be doing this, okay? We, we don't wanna be using our legs at all. So with internal rotation, it's actually really hard to get any sort of face rotation. You can see how sort of like straight back, straight through that works just purely because when I've rocked the shoulders with internal rotation, there's no room for the face to rotate. And I mean, it can work, but the most common sort of cause with uh, someone with internal rotation, too much internal rotation with the elbows is a pull because there's too much little going on in, the, in terms of face rotation here. So then when they come back to impact, face is generally shut. Vice versa, external rotation. We want to find the perfect balance, okay? If you have too much external rotation where the elbows sit way, way too far and almost closer to your belly button, that can actually cause a lot of face rotation and the face can be too active. So it's just about controlling the amount of external rotation you have. And the best way to sort of feel that is just to feel that your elbows are sort of touching 
the side of your rib cage, okay? So they're not close to your belly button or your midsection. They're just sitting towards the side of your sort of like your side abs, obliques. And yeah, and what, what, what that's going to do is that's just going to make them sit far more natural. Allow the elbows to almost uh, sit just under the shoulders, say. And then from there, if you rock the shoulders, the face rotation is going to be much more natural and you're going to allow yourself to work on that arc that you need to work on in order to get the face square back at impact. Now, all of these ways work, and that's important to note, but in terms of the most consistent way for the typical golfer, it's better to have a good amount of external rotation to allow for a consistent face rotation back and through, as that's going to be far more consistent when hitting parts. So thanks for watching this YouTube video on the elbows, internal external rotation, and how that affects your putting stroke. Next time you're on the putting ring, get someone to film you from face on, see if you have too much in, internal or too much external rotation. And then yeah, see if you can sort of change yourself. If not, go and get a lesson and uh, it's something that you can definitely work on to improve your putting. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.